Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and we are back working on Sweetheart Roadster Project. So in the last video, we did the uh, floor pan underneath of the seat, and we made a seat uh, frame, so to speak, out of wood uh, that just gave us an ability to sit in the car, which was really exciting. What immediately uh, became evident in uh, sitting in the car was that the, where the pedals were in the X member that I put in the car, we're not going to work in that position. We really needed to try and figure out our pedal situation. So uh, we pulled out the pedals in between the last video. We pulled out the pedals out of the floor, uh, mount style pedals, the factory ones, and we're going to start playing around with what we can do with uh, maybe doing a swinging pedal setup on the firewall. Uh, one thing is I want to keep the 32 firewall obviously that we've welded in and I would like to work around the factory beads without hacking it up too much. Um, so that is going to take some uh, creative uh, thinking here to get everything to work. So I have a couple different style master cylinders kicking around. I have some hanging pedals kicking around and different stuff like that that we're going to test fit and move around. I'm going to make some patterns on some different master cylinders and to see how we can get everything to fit. And hopefully we'll at least have a game plan by the end of this and maybe some master cylinders mounted in. Or maybe we'll throw everything in the trash and we'll go back to square one. Who knows, but we will figure it out and take you along in the process. All right, so what I have here on the cow is uh, I have a set of master cylinders for uh, what I would say a 40 Ford style, but they basically use these from 39. Uh, that's just like a nickname I use, but they basically used them from 39 um, all the way up into F1 pickups used them as well. Um, for master cylinders. Now one of the tricks back in the day that guys would do, and we have shown it on a few other cars, they would use double master cylinders, one for brakes, watch for, one for a clutch master cylinder. So um, the ones that I have on some of my other cars are a later style like shoebox Ford into possibly the 60s. They used a style that has a wider, a bigger flange like this. And we have it on the Schroll Coupe with the um, LaSalle Trans. And the Oldsmobile, we have it on the 32 or the 33 three window with the Arden and the LaSalle uses dual master cylinders of that style. Now, the one thing I'm a little worried about in this car is this pattern, uh, the bolt pattern and the flange is quite a bit bigger than the earlier style. So no matter what you do, they are quite a bit bigger. So that might cause a problem with the beads and the firewall. So I'm gonna use these for a pattern just to hold up and see because I don't have any extras of these master cylinders. I had two of these just kicking around, a new one and a probably new one that's old. Um, and we're gonna hold them up and see how we can get everything to fit. Um, and then that'll help us make the decision where they're gonna go. We're gonna start with just uh, most importantly, the position, and I'll turn you guys down here. What's really most important is the position of the master cylinders around these beads. I do not wanna cut right in the center of these beads. So we're gonna do whatever we can to avoid that. So uh, whichever master cylinder fits in here best is gonna uh, kind of make the decision on which one we're using. All right, Steve, so I got these. If you wanna stand back and just tell me with yep. size and shape and whatever. So I think we can, if we go on either side of these beads, we can probably make something work. So with these flanges, we're gonna to have to be probably Something like that. It's gonna be really far apart. Yeah. Yeah, because the edge of that flange there is gonna touch there in the top there. Yep. Yeah, because you that's the one on the outside, you can't go any lower with that. Yep, and this one you can't go any higher. Yep. And you're already kind of touching on the edge of the bead there. Mm -hmm. It's probably gonna look kind of silly. There, there, yeah, there's gonna be huge out in space there. And low. So these ones, I didn't make a pattern yet, but this one, I could probably get this one. Nice thing with this one is get them up high, something like that. Or actually, I guess this one will have to drop down. The one on the outside, if you move it over yeah, like that maybe? Yeah, you get them a little closer together, I think it'll be a little more... That's probably a about look. even wise. That's probably about the closest you're gonna get together, which yeah. isn't terrible. Probably looks similar to what's on the 33. What's the spacing on that one? Might be a little tighter, but the... Yeah, it's tighter than that one. Those are even further apart. Okay. I, I, I like them closer together. I think it looks better that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So that something like that, 
probably be better. So maybe I'll make some patterns for the flanges here. Yeah, you want me and to hold them? You want to take a look at them? Um, no. Well, yeah, go ahead. I say that and then... <laughs> right, it why looks different from a different... Why didn't we do that? Different from a different... Yes, that one seems to... The, the center board seems to line up with that hole yeah. that's already there. Right, you can almost use that hole. Yep. And like this and that one. one. You're at an angle, so you got to turn straight. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, it really doesn't... You know, we'll get them centered, mm -hmm. lined up. Right, I mean, because this can come... Up, that's as, probably as far to the, yeah. the center as that one can go. It's just twisted. It. It's uh, a little more... Yeah, like that. That's good. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. Yeah, the 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 other ones they were just too far. Really apart. far apart. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me make patterns of the flanges and then we'll tape them on, and that's how we'll probably have to center it up. Is just get the flanges on and level. Yeah. You know the copy of the flanges, mm -hmm. and then when you bolt it on, it you know it'll all work. Cause exactly. It's, magnets here we can don't mind the ultrasonic cleaner in the background I feel like we're gonna get 300 comments about people complaining about the sound so <laughs> deal with it uh, all right so start by going there actually can you grab me two more yep. Probably kind of utilize that hole a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that one's going to need to go down, right? Yeah, the one on the outside is going to have to come down. It's a little higher than the other at the moment. It's okay. A little more? Yeah, a little more. Actually, we could probably line this hole up with. Probably, it's just yeah. below center. Yep, on that hole. Bring the outside edge up a little bit. Level it out. That's pretty good. That's pretty level there. Make, that's the flange yeah. pattern. Um, it looks like the the inside one I need to yeah, you need to rotate down a little bit. Closer? Yeah, it could probably even go a little more. Maybe a tiny bit. No, of course that we could that we could once we punch the center hole in both of them, we could rotate the master cylinder, get it level, and then center punch where the holes need mm -hmm. to go for the you know to the mounting plan. Yep. Or you mount or we drill this one first, put it back on, rotate it to where it's they're both level, I mean. Yeah. Does this one still look a little low, or? That one's actually a little higher than the center one. Okay. Does this look level there? Almost. It can come up a little bit now, I think. It can the whole come thing. up a little higher. Yeah, the whole thing. The outside edge of the inner one has to come up a little bit. The, in, the inner one? Well, that edge? Yep, that edge, yep, that corner there. So I'd have to... Just rotate it, yep. That's pretty close. Yeah, that's that's real close. That's actually, actually looks pretty good right there. I mean, that's... that's yeah, that'll, like fall parts. that'll fit pretty good, because everything will be tight against the beads, but you're not... I don't want to be, like, smack dab in the middle of a bead. That, yeah. that would just... Right, no good. <laughs> no good. So... Hmm. Yeah, put a straight edge across one and get the mm -hmm. other one to touch. And this one's pretty much, you can't go up anymore. So. Right, yeah, so set that one as level and then make the other one. The other it. one you could float around a little better. Yep. 
And that's going to be the hardest one to draw. <laughs> Cut better. And like I said, luckily your master cylinder's covering any slight weirdness there. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, you won't even, you won't, once you cut that hole, it'll be hidden. All right, so I got the first hole drilled, but uh, I forgot to hit record on the camera and I proceeded to drop my hole saw too and chip a tooth on it. So we're doing great here today. Just great. But, it fits. All right, Steve, can you give me some? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I can, yeah, I can go up, but actually it probably needs to favor, you know, so, what I would say is I'm going to drill this hole first in the bottom if we get the height where we want it. So, yeah. I think somewhere roughly in there, or does it need it? If it's leaning towards the outside, it's got to, I think that's probably pretty good there. That looks you want to level for the, put on top? Well, no, I'm going to do the bottom one and oh, drill okay. that hole, yep. and then we can rotate it yep. to and level it and then drill the second hole. Yep. And at least the first hole, we can tighten it down and keep it snug so that it's not floating around. So yep. if that looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's real close to the level and straight there. Okay. Because then I can just, I can do this back and forth from there. Yep. There we are. So we swapped out for two used or old new old, I guess they're new old stock, but they're old. Mm -hmm. um, can you grab me that, the little machinist square I have? Yeah, we can just, so yeah, we'll get the, we'll use the square to get the height the same and I'll do that center one and then we pivot off of that. Yep. I might need you. Oh shit. Oh no, that'll work. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll hold it here and stand back and tell me what you the side to side probably isn't quite right yet, but the height. Yeah. That yep. look, looks okay? Yep, right there. Right there. Alright, I'll drill that hole first. All right, so got the master cylinders all bolted up. They are roughly where they need to be. We can uh, wiggle them around a little bit for OCD reasons uh, at any point, but we got them all mounted. I like how they fit in around the beads. We're not, we didn't actually like drill on top of any of the beads or anything. So it fit all around the body lines. And I think it's a good way to do it that it looks pretty natural when it's all done. So with those things mounted there, we'll end up doing our clutch pedal, obviously on this one, brake pedal on that one, and then in here you can see, it might be a little dark, but I'm trying to get the camera to adjust. And you guys can see up in there, 
is where our master cylinders are going to come through. So it's actually a really good spot. I probably have, I don't know, 12, a foot almost, or at least eight inches or so up to the top of the cow there. So we have some room that we can make our pivot point up here and then have our push rods here and it's and then we can have our pedals hang you know down in here so you can see when everything's mounting your back looking at the car you can't you won't be able to see those master cylinders or anything they'll be hidden behind the dash so plenty of room to make the uh the pedal set up i grabbed a couple of pedal setups out of um my stash upstairs none of them really worked put them in um None of them really seem to work, so I think I'm gonna have to build a pedal setup much like I did on the uh, on the 33.3 window. So I'll make some kind of bracket and uh, out of heavy plate and go from there. So yeah, so I got the master cylinders mounted. That's just this is a kind of simple video, but this is the stuff you have to do. Most importantly, we wanted those master cylinders to look good when they are mounted in the car. I think they do. They will look natural. And now the question is, do I make them chrome or do we paint them body color? You guys comment down below and let me know. I always uh, aim towards old chrome or chrome in general. I think it would look cool, but I'd like to hear your opinion down below. But hopefully this guys give, some of you guys get some ideas. Uh, if you're looking to do this, this is a good way to do it. And if you fit it just right, you cannot hack up that precious 32 firewall. Thank you guys for following along. Catch you later.